Hey. <clears throat> Whatever. Nobody's watching YouTube today anyway. Might as well do a video that's going to get claimed um, and give you my final opinions on Ghostbusters Afterlife. The final trailer just dropped. I am extraordinarily nervous for this film. I am very concerned that the kids are going to ruin it and it won't be their fault. I'm going into this saying, and I'm being honest with you, I never wanted this movie to be made. I never wanted whatever that abomination in 2016 was made. I didn't want that either. I wanted Ghostbusters 3 20 years ago, and we never got it. I still consider the Ghostbusters video game, and you can watch all the cutscenes put together on YouTube from Xbox, the Xbox 360 game, although I do recommend you play the game. That was like the final movie. Um, whatever this is won't be Ghostbusters um, to me. And I'm very nervous about the Stranger Thing vibes. But I do like Paul Rudd. And um, I'm told that, well, that the final trailer is good. So let's see. Currently at 4.5 thousand upvotes to 1,000 or 100 downvotes. Um, so I guess I'm working for, I'm not sure who's actually making this movie, Sony. So, hey, um, if you haven't yet joined as a member, there's a join button down below. I would absolutely love it if you did, or if you joined my subscribe star. Let's get into it. I remember Revelations. Oh, okay. So we're starting right away with um, a classic throwback. And I looked as he opened the sixth seal. There was a great earthquake. Judgment Day. Oh, ho, ho. okay. So are these are the gargoyles back? Yes. Okay, they are. Raise a call. I'm calling about what happened in New York. There hasn't been a ghost sighting in 30 years. Oh man. They're overplaying these mini puffs. I'm telling you, I get it. They're gonna sell toys, but. Ah, and I also, I get it. Uh, every kid is smarter than every adult that ever existed. I We get it. I'm so tired with that trope. But let's continue. Like, I feel like we've seen all the funny stuff. Like, we've seen all the funny stuff from the mini guys because they're just pushing them in the trailer so much. Okay, sorry. This is a throwback. I think this is a ghoul from um, Ghostbusters 1. Oh my God. Yep. What is happening here? My grandfather was a Ghostbuster. Something was coming and he knew it. The ghost shoots bullets? Ah, I don't know. I'm still going to give it a chance, but this trailer is not convincing me. I think we opened the gates of hell. Hey, have you missed us? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, uh, you didn't give us their faces. Give us their faces. I have you. I have missed you. Hey, have you missed us? Ah, uh, I have missed you deeply. The comments say, yes, yes, we have missed you guys. Yes, we have missed you. I got chills when Peter said, have you missed us? Um, everybody loved that. It was Venkman, you know. I'm definitely going to see Ghostbusters Afterlife when it makes theaters. I'm released on the 19th. It's too bad that it didn't make it on the October 31st release. Yeah, I don't care that much. It's not a Halloween movie. Um... Maybe he was saying that to Gozer. I mean, is this, is Paul Rudd their kid? What if Paul Rudd was the little baby? What if that was the case? Like Oz, little Oscar. What if they brought that back in? Ah, I kind of wish it was longer. You know, I don't know. I mean, we have Ray's Occult, which is, you know, his little store that he opened. 
Paul Rudd. What if Paul Rudd was Oscar? Wouldn't that be funny? I don't think it actually matches up canonically. Judgment Day. I love that quote, too. They did bring these guys back, which were a staple, which were just hilarious. You know, chasing Rick Moranis through New York. I mean, it was <laughs> one of the most hilarious moments. Like, okay, who brought the dog? I have a feeling they're going to go like mega member berries. I do think it's curious that we haven't seen any of their faces. Like, we know what they look like. Why are we hiding them? Like, maybe because he's thinking the big reveal. Just listen to his voice, though. Raise a call. I'm calling about what happened in New York. Oh, man. Like, and we haven't seen anything. We haven't really seen any Winston calls. Calls. We've got Venkman. Uh, we got um, uh, we got Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd's voices. Obviously, we can't have Egon. I am curious what they're gonna do with um with the death, how they're gonna deal with Spengler being gone. Maybe. This guy was this guy was in in the Ghostbusters original one. I'm pretty sure. I really oh god! If they had done this movie without the Stranger Thing vibes, um, I'd be more excited. And it's like not even this kid's fault. And also the whole oh kids are smarter than adults. Like we get it, we get it. I know that trope's been around forever, but it just feels like that's it's seen a resurgence. Like. I still am strongly, strongly annoyed that this little, like, 11-pound soaking wet kid can carry a proton pack when we know for a fact grown men had a problem with it. And, like, by the way, just shoots it without, like, even the Ghostbusters would be like, like, trying to control it. But this little, this little thing um, has no problem controlling the... The proton pack. I know I'm being jaded. I know. I know. I promise I'll give this movie a fair shake. I promise. I promise. But it's going to have to be amazing. Something was coming and he knew it. Like. Wait, who's has somebody's face in there? The, I mean, the ghosts look good, but we've gone from real ghosts to CGI. And then this, like, shooting bullets, I hate that. I hate that. Why is it shooting bullets? Unless it, like, ate something and then used it to spit it out. Okay, fine. This is not their best trailer. Visually, it looks amazing. You can see it's like we, we have, like, portal to the steps to Gozer here. Like... And then, you know, you've got the three guys. I think you could see Winston here. Looks like the hands are black. And then, uh, you know, the little guys are happy to see them, are, like, impressed by them. I'm going to try to go into it. I'm going to try going into it with my mind completely blank and and view it like, hey, this is just, uh, you know, maybe this movie wasn't made for me. Maybe it really is a, a kid's movie. Because that's the vibes I'm getting. But it depends how much of a role Paul Rudd has. Because they certainly are featuring him quite a bit in the trailer. Um, I doubt the original Ghostbusters will have much of a role at all. I think they might show up at the very, very end to help give them like the push that they need. I mean, the spoilers are... I mean, I feel like they've... Re I, I mean, she looks great. I, I, feel like they've, I feel like they've revealed too much. I feel like they've revealed too much in the trailers. Like, I feel like I've seen every funny scene with these stupid little mini puffs. Like, I've seen it. Um, they're, they're, they're like a ripoff of Gremlins, but cute. Or Baby Yoda. Gremlins plus Baby Yoda. That thing's got an eyeball on its head. It's creepy looking. But again, it's CGI. I'm really bothered by how easily the kid... I know! I know! I hear you. I'll give it a chance, all right? I'll go see it opening night, and I'll give it a fair chance. 
God, I'm a salty old guy. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.